Hey guys, Abby here from House of Keto. Welcome back to our channel. So you guys asked for a pantry tour and I am getting ready to try my best to give it to you. A couple days ago, we posted a picture of our pantry that I just finished um, reorganizing and refreshing, but you guys wanted to know how we organize things and what everything is like. Now, I kind of explained already that we have uh, three refrigerators, five freezers and two pantries plus in our garage we also have racks set up kind of like we do here um in our pantry um for overstock now before you guys are like oh my god that's way too much stuff we make a lot of recipes there's only four people in our family but i make a lot of recipes i test a lot of recipes um and i'm also one of eight kids so i have a really hard time cooking in small portions um so i don't know why i have so many things I don't I really don't I don't have a good excuse for you I was gonna try to make it sound good but I really don't I like knowing that I have everything that I need um, it also is my way of saving money I tried to coupon but I just realized I wasn't gonna be good at it um, and then also most of the things that they have coupons for are not foods that we eat uh, so I had to think of some, another way to be creative and that way was making sure that I have all the things that my family needs so that I don't have to run into the, to the store like frequently. If I can cut down on the amount of times that I go in stores then I will inevitably save money and that's definitely what we do. So we don't just do this with our foods, we also do this with um, household items. Those items are much easier to do it with because like I know I'm always gonna need toilet paper. So even before the pandemic, we were already stocking up on toilet paper, paper towels, uh, soap, body wash, toothpaste, toothbrushes, um, saran wrap, plastic bags, all those things that I know that I'm gonna need every time that I don't have to run to the store to get one of those things, I save money. Because we all know if you just show up at Target, you're not gonna be able to leave without spending like 200 bucks and all you in there for was a bar of soap and now you don't even know what's happening and it's just a mess so I'm going to try my best to give you guys um, a pantry tour my camera work is not that great um, I debated like do I just show you guys and not see you or do I see you and explain so just work with me here so get ready for this pantry tour this is definitely going to be a multiple part video um, because we have two pantries and then I will eventually do our refrigerators and our freezers so get ready I hope you enjoy this please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and let us know in our comments um, if you eat any of the same foods that we have here or if you wish that you had something um, in your state that we don't have here let us know what state you're in because it's really cool and interesting to see what different uh, keto friendly products you guys have access us to um and just let us know what you think all right so i'm gonna start at the beginning of the pantry and then we will um work our way around so that we can show you everything so starting here we have some of our um keto friendly low carb chocolate bars these are like um lily's brand and they're all different flavors those are some of the um older versions and then any other chocolate bars that we have that are like low carb or sugar free. Here we have um, cereal school fruity cereal. They come in little individual packages, but we take them out and store them this way. Um, and then here we have the same thing, cereal school cereal. This is the cinnamon bun flavor, uh, chocolate cocoa flavor, and the uh, cookies and cream flavor mixed. Um, and then up here we have our um, little like flavor extracts by La Quinto. We have some from some uh, different brands and things like that that we keep up here. Up here is um, coffee. I'm really short, so I'm setting up on a thing. This is um, different coffees and things like that. Not that interesting. Um, up here is where we keep like nuts and granola. So we have like our keto granola. We'll have um, pecans in here. I think that's uh, milled flax seeds. Um, all of that stuff. We have some uh, macadamia nuts. All that stuff gets uh, stored in here in the nuts basket. Um, here is our meats basket. This stuff is basically going to be canned meats. So we have like um, canned chicken. We'll also have uh, some canned uh, pink salmon and then we also have some canned uh, roast beef. I've actually never used this stuff but it's something that we keep on hand like I guess in case of an emergency and then we also have um, Kirkland brand um, Bakelin, uh, Bakelin, Bacon Crumbles. Here is our sweetener and chocolate basket. So this is going to be like um, extra sweeteners, um, swerve. We have uh, some chocolate chips in here, some baking chocolate, some extra um, like swerve single serve packets, things like that. I also keep a uh, baking powder in there. 
Next we have um, here is going to be this um, label got messed up. So some of these I have to redo, but I'm waiting for some custom labels. But this uh, basket here houses uh, brownies and pancakes. That's what I was supposed to say, pancakes and brownies, but it's messed up. So we have all different brands like um, high key brand brownie mix, um, high key brand uh, pancake mixes, um, different companies. We have La Canto pancake mix. We have some pancake and brownie mix from um, Good goodies, um, also uh, Keto Clean Creations, and we have some uh, Birch Benders mix in here. So that's that. Down here, we have our flowers. So this is gonna be, um, this is some uh, like plain uh, protein powder that I fry stuff with. We have some coconut powder um, and almond flour. So that stays in here. You guys might not know, but once you open up your almond flour, it does need to be um, refrigerated. Let's stay down low and then I'll get back up high again. We have another basket for like flowers and cooking stuff. This, um, we have like oat fiber. Um, I've never actually used it. We have some uh, xylem husk powder, some inulin powder, some heavy cream powder, um, my gelatin, unflavored gelatin. I use that for when I'm making like jams and um, gummies and stuff like that. And then we have some Epsom salt. Um, up here, we have cookies and cake mixes. This is another label that's messed up, which I'm getting redone. So we have a bunch of different um, brands, Keto Queen, Queen Creations, goodies, uh, cookie mixes. And then I do keep um, cake mixes as well, like goodies, uh, snack cake mixes. I keep some Swerve uh, box mixes. I'll just show you guys that. These, this is just like, those are much quicker to bake. We, actually, we hardly ever use any of this um, baking stuff. So I just try to, I always keep it on hand in case I need it, but um, we don't usually get to use most of it. Um, tomatoes, so in here we'll have like uh, diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes. Uh, this is where I keep stuff like uh, chipotle peppers and uh, salsa that goes in our tomato bin cheese bin this is where we keep crunchy cheese so we have like the parmesan cheese whisk we have lots of bags of those um we have different brands high key their stuff and then we have like parmesan crisp so we actually don't eat a lot we really don't eat a lot of the stuff that's in this pantry most of the stuff that we eat is going to be um in the refrigerator but oliver our puppy he is keto also and he eats um these cheese crisp as his treat then we should change this. We're gonna actually change this to noodles instead of pasta. But this is where we keep stuff like our um, hearts of palm, um, like linguine noodles. Um, we have like hearts of palm, um, lasagna noodles, um, different things like that. Like if they're supposedly keto or low carb versions, I have honestly, I've never um, cooked with these um, just because we prefer using the zucchini noodles but I always keep them on hand just in case um, you'll learn that about me I keep stuff on hand this is our tea bucket I have lots of different teas in here nobody really drinks these Penelope will occasionally um, drink these but it's something we keep on hand um, it's either very low sugar or low carb we keep that on hand for guests and things like that let's go back low Oh, guys, I'm getting tired. <laughs> you guys, I'm in the middle of a long fast on one day 17. Down here is, um, oh, I wasn't even looking down here. Down here, see, this is when my kids eat chocolate chips in the pantry. I find them in here. I'll have to get rid of that. All right, and here is liquid. So we have lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and then we have like these drink mixes. I think someone sent them to us, but I've never actually used them. I'll show them to you. Buy skinny syrups. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I guess you can make like a lemonade out of it. Almond milk and then like another drink mix somebody sent us. Um, we don't really use that. We use this and we use that and we use this. Um, but those are the liquids. That's a heavy basket. Um, up here, I don't know if I already, I think I, no, I didn't tell you about this. This is the muffins. This is where we get the muffin mixes. La Quinto, pumpkin uh, bread and muffin mix. One of my favorites. Also their... Um, Blueberry muffins, really good. We have a bunch of different brands, High Key, Keto & Co, um, goodies, all these things to make a quick um, muffin if we need to. Um, up here, I have, we have tomatoes and then we have tomato sauce. So this is the actual like marinara sauce, Rayo's, um, and then any other like saucy product that we have like this. I got this the other day, I haven't even tried it yet. We also keep our um, pizza sauce in here. 
canned goods another thing we don't really use much of but i always keep pumpkin because i really like pumpkin i like um baking with pumpkin um making different things with pumpkin we keep uh cans of heart hearts of palm i use these like uh potatoes you make sure you season them up really well and cook them we also keep stuff like evapor ugh, evapor evaporated coconut milk we keep some like guac uh salsa in here olives and things like that then we have um, our oil basket. This is where we keep coconut oil, coconut spray, MCT oil, avocado oil, um, more olive oil. This basket is not labeled. I need another label for this one, but this is um, pork rind uh, crumbs, like already crumbed up. All right, nut butters up here. We keep like peanut butter type stuff. So we use Jif. Oliver eats um, Jif. And then we keep like our hazelnut butters and stuff like that from Chalk Zero. I can't really reach it, so I can't show you that very well. Up here, we keep bone broth, chicken stock, all that type of stuff that we uh, cook with. And now we're going to come down. I'm waiting for custom labels for these. But here we have um, cocoa butter. Um, I use this when I'm making any type of like fat balm or peanut butter and jelly, Uncrustables, dark chocolate chips, um, milk chocolate chips, walnuts, um, another brand of dark chocolate chips. This one uses um, stevia, I believe, white chocolate chips. We have um, dark chocolate cocoa nibs. We have, um, what is this? This is semi-sweet baking chips. This is uh, cocoa powder, pumpkin seeds, uh, xanthan powder. We use that to like thicken gravies and stuff. Chia seeds or chai seeds, however you say it. Um, hot chocolate, like drinking mix from um, La Quinto, I believe. And um, pork rind crumbs. Pecans. This will be almonds, but I keep the almond jar empty a lot of times because I really love almonds. And I will eat the whole thing. Pistachios, macadamia nuts. And this is a um, granola mix by High Key. It's my favorite. So I don't keep it out on the counter. I keep it in here because another thing that I will eat a lot of. Um, but I keep it in here so that I have to come in here and like make a huge mess if I want it. And um, it's not super easy. Here are syrups. We have all of our syrups from Chalk Zero, our absolute favorite. We love, love, love Chalk Zero. You can use House of Keto to get a discount on your order. All different types and flavors of syrups in here, including like um, maple syrups and flavored syrups and stuff like that. We have caramel and all that that we use in the coffee. Over here, we have sauces like hot sauce. Um, we keep our alterner sweets, ketchup, uh, barbecue sauce, coconut aminos, mustard hot sauce, um, some G Hughes, like sugar free blends and barbecue sauces um penelope likes she hughes i'm not a fan of g hughes it uses stevia and i just don't like stevia because it tastes like alcohol down here i keep some leftover um spices to like refill a lot of our stuff oliver get out of here here we have dressings like salad dressings and different stuff um no soy teriyaki from primal kitchen a big jug of um barbecue sauce down here we have drinks these are um like we keep um, these like rethink waters for the kids. Oliver's looking for a treat. Can somebody call Oliver out of here? Oliver. Ollie, watch out, baby. Come here. Huxley, can you pick him up and help him out so I can finish this? You can you too, baby. Stay going. <laughs> All right, thank you. Mommy's almost done. We also have um, some Zevia kids sodas down under there. These baskets are really heavy, so it's hard for me to move out. No, you can wait until mommy's done, okay? Down here we have um, drink mixes, our Ultima Replenisher, Go Everly, um, some MCT powders and stuff like that. Um, down here is some chips. Back here are the bags that my family opens and doesn't finish. Um, and then here are bags that are closed. These are grain-free tortilla tips. Remember, everybody in my family is not doing a sugar-free keto low carb lifestyle for um, weight loss. So while these things might not fit in your macros, um, I please encourage everyone to go research the foods on their own. Um, you don't need to police me. We got it over here. We have some uh, Siete um, taco, grain-free taco shells. Um, the kids like those. Huxley um, gets to take these in his lunch about every other day. Plus protein chips. I do not like them. I think they're nasty. Um, over here we have um, chips and pork rinds. 
So Penelope has some of these um, chicken breast chips by Wild Chips. Her and my husband love them. Um, I don't eat them just because I am not at the point where I can eat them <laughs> at this point. Pork rinds. Um, we have 405 pork rinds back there also. And then we have a bunch of like snack bins. The kids take a lot of this stuff in their lunch. So we have like smaller bags of the um, Siete chips, some cereal bags. Um, the kids really love these by Shrewd Foods chocolate dippers. They make them in dark chocolate and um, milk chocolate. Um, some more like protein puffs and stuff by Shrewd Foods. Those are quick grabs for snacks or like um, we're going out or something. And then here we have some more snacks. We have like um, high key cookies. We have the new um, keto cookies from um, Audi. We also keep um, our Chalk Zero in here. Usually we have a whole basket full of just Chalk Zero, but I just filled up a big um, jar of that. We also keep um, the marshmallows that we use um, for our Rice Krispie treats. Here we have a jar of like random candies and lollipops that are like low sugar or sugar free. Um, we also have a big jar of um, Smart Sweets gummies. These are Huxley's almond flour crackers that he eats every day. He eats meat in this. Um, these are Lily's um, chocolate chip cookies. They don't sell them anymore at Costco. So this is the last that we have. Um, the, all of my reserve is gone. <laughs> Penelope keeps seaweed. She takes that on her lunch. My husband eats these um, ratio toasted almond bars. That is um, monk fruit powdered sweetener. These are dried um, fruits, just single ingredients. So you have blueberries at the top over there. That's watermelon. Those are my husband's raspberries. And that one that's empty is supposed to be strawberries, but it looks like my daughter finished it off. The refill for that is up here. These are like refill baskets. So of the um, dried fruits. And then we have this is a heavy basket, refill basket for um, the gummies. And then back here we have, um, so usually this is where I sit stuff that the kids haven't tried yet, but like we got it just for them to try. So my husband and the two kids will be trying these like keto um, Duncan Hine cake things. They don't have the best ingredients, but they are trying them. Then I keep um, back here, just like some of my appliance stuff. My dad is here, he's collecting stuff to take home that they don't have in Washington state. And then just some um, dishes, appliances, pots pans, things like that. So that is everything here in um, our pantry. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing our um, tour of our pantry. Like I said, a lot of this stuff um, we don't really eat on a regular basis. Um, most of the stuff that we eat on a ketogenic diet is going to be found in our refrigerator or freezers, meats, vegetables, and um, berries, um, cheeses, things like that. So um, I'd say in this pantry, the thing that we probably use most is definitely going to be um, Huxley's almond flour crackers um, and the kids, um, their treats like um, the gummies and um, maybe the chips. But other than that, um, the most common thing in here that gets used will be um, the tomatoes and the tomato sauce and the oil. Um, that's probably something that we use at least a few times a week. Um, but all this baking stuff and all of that, um, the keto baking is obviously something that you can do. There's lots of great, um, ways that you can do that recipes and stuff out there. Me personally, I don't follow other people's recipes. I have a really hard time. Um, and I'm just not necessarily a baker. It's very scientific and you can mess stuff up. And when you're talking about keto stuff, you're working with a different set of ingredients anyway. So I don't have the time to waste all that time and then it not be good. So um, I like, we have these mixes and stuff if we really need something. They really helped us when we first transitioned the kids. But um, one of the things that we found with the ketogenic lifestyle is that they just don't eat as often. So um, my family doesn't need as much stuff, but you have to keep in mind that we are, um, you know, we make content around food basically recipes and stuff so we always have this stuff to make and try when we make recipes nothing gets wasted we do save it we have multiple freezers we literally have a freezer just for um cooked meals that we can't necessarily eat because i'll make bigger portions or i might make multiples of a recipe to show it in different variations and versions and things like that so thank you so much for hanging out with us make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can continue to keep up with our channel and um watch as we go along be on the lookout for other videos of our second pantry which doesn't really have any food in it it's just like a supply pantry um, and then we'll do um, pantries of our refrigerators and freezers thanks so much for hanging out with us today guys have a great day bye